So for today, we're going to be looking at the new armaments that the hunters got for Lightfall. Don't worry, Titans and Warlocks, you guys will be getting yours soon. And I'm going to be real with you guys. I think both of these ornaments are straight up W's. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys are going to be using. But let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at Wormhouse Crown. It finally got a really good ornament. And I'm talking like it's so like i want to cuss right now but i also want to make money off of this video so i'm not gonna cuss but damn when i say this exotic ornament looks so good let's just look at how it shaders just so you guys can understand like my thought process so the reason i'm just over the moon for this ornament is because of just how great it shaders uh especially for those who know wormhusk crown you guys will know that the default look for wormhusk is not the best it is pretty trash there the gold never changes color even though in my worm husk crown video there was a guy defending why it's gold uh the dude is clearly you know i'm not gonna say anything negative uh he, he likes what he likes whatever dog i'm just saying worm husk crown default look is trash the gate lord is actually really cool especially if you want to go for like a a vex look the only thing that's a negative is the fact that the eye and the white uh cords do not change color so this is the first time we actually see a ornament actually change the color of the whole thing so i'm actually really excited to the point that i almost bought this but i did check on eververse uh calendar and this one is actually going to be sold for bright dust so if you are impatient you can buy it outright or you can just wait for it to come out uh, full sale. I think it's either week six or week seven, somewhere around there. But I'm gonna wait because uh, I'd I'd rather not spend real money, and I'm patient. Uh, this one is also called Acolyte's Ambition, which is a pretty cool name. But yeah, overall, I'm over the moon for this one. I think Echo Anger looks super dope with it. I think Abyssinian Gold looks really really cool with it. Granted, there is that brown color that I really really don't like. But the other cool part is the fact that the like behind all of that armor, the like plate in the middle actually takes glows because it is a glow and it's really really cool as for the example set this is where like i just kind of gave you something that i i know people would just use with it which is like just your basic a uh, hive uh bone theme look which is not a surprise considering that's pretty much what this set is me personally i would probably just have my casual hunter like the one with the hoodie and the sweater or, or the hoodie and then like the just regular pants i that's the set that i would go for if i have a picture i'll have it up right now but that's the set i would probably wear with it just because uh don't get me wrong this set that i made for it looks cool it's just that i kind of want more um i want more hive pieces or more bone pieces so that way i can see a little bit more variation because like i like the apilos falling stride a lot but I don't think it goes well with the dark hollow chitin. I think it's just too much, but at the same time, it does look good. It's just, I don't know. I guess like there's not enough grooves and like pieces, but at this point I'm just being really, really nitpicky. I definitely think the twisting echo cloak looks really, really cool with the helmet. So I would probably still keep that, but I do wish we could put the cloak down because I think that would look even better. So hunters, let me know what you guys think about this ornament. I think it's the best one in the season, like honestly, just because of how good it is. And it changes a, a shitty looking exotic to actually not only be able to change color, but it actually changes it in a really cool way. And you get a really dope uh, glow in the middle. So let me know what you guys think. As for the last ornament, we're going to be looking at the young Ahamkara spine, specifically say, say, or I, I don't know how to say this. Um, it's Viking themed, which is super, super dope. And I'm going to be real with you guys. I love it. I think it looks super, super cool. Granted, it does look a lot. And I mean a lot like just the basic look of young Ahankara spine, considering there's still the bones on the one on the one side. The left side does look a lot more different. And I'll show you guys how it looks right now. It does look a lot more different, which is super, super cool. But uh, I definitely will pick this one up because, again, it is being sold for Bright Dust this season, which is super dope because I'm going to get it which also helps me because I am going to get the the armor from Eververse. I'm just going to outright buy it. So it will save me some money, I guess. But let me know what you guys think. I really do like this one. As for how it shaders, it actually shaders like decently, surprisingly. And I mean, I say surprisingly because I was just not expecting 
the bone color to change or like some of the armor on the actual like uh skull uh on the sides i wasn't expecting that to change color either i don't know why i just had a feeling but thankfully that feeling was fucking wrong uh, i think echoed anger looks amazing with it especially the blue like the blue color for the sides of the metal for the skull i think that's so dope it it really does look really cool with that same thing for Abyssinian and gold i think the bone or the brown color for the bone is super dope i don't mind that at all because then you get that really cool black like iron look for the sides overall i think this is a dub i think this is super dope the only problematic thing is the fact that i don't think we have enough viking pieces to like really make something dope uh this is the example set this is a variation of my other viking set that i made for for the six coyote specifically the val hunt ornament i think i i think i made a video it's right here i think it was uh for season of the plunder which is where i think it came out either way i made a video for it and you guys can see it right here i i much prefer that one just because a lot of the pieces that i use are very viking heavy themed and the only pieces that i really switched out are the arms and the chest piece now the reason i'm using the outlander's heart is because at least for like traditional vikings they didn't wear like a lot of armor it was more like leather and parchment i guess no that's not the right word well they used a lot of leather and like uh like lighter uh material so the outlander's heart was probably the best choice just because the patterns on the chest piece look really cool and what is it jargon or a jerkin i think it's called either way they they didn't wear like a lot of armor so and when i say armor i specifically mean like like iron armor and stuff like that at least like actually historically accurate vikings and uh, i decided to go with that because we, i just couldn't find a chess piece that was like this is viking thing like not actually historically think like correct but i was like i'll just go with like a, a historically accurate one because it still looks pretty cool so those are the ornaments that we got for the hunters i really really like these these are super dope uh sayora is really really cool i like that one a lot but if i'm being quite honest i think the best one is for warm husk crown we we have definitely needed a good ornament for that one because as much as i love the vex one i just don't think it's a good one for that one just because it doesn't change the color of the eye and the cables also don't change color so i've always wanted one that just changes the color of everything outright and we finally have that in the game so hunters let me know what you guys think be safe and i'll see you guys later <laughs>